Hey guys, welcome back to Mark Reacts. Um, today we've got a great one for you. As you guys know, with us moving to the United States, we've been passionate about, I've been passionate about the United States for a long, long time as a country. And especially, I've been, um, interestingly enough, um, very passionate and interested in the US military, especially Marine Corps. I, I'm, I'm a massive, massive history nerd. So I've actually um, taken it upon myself to study, of course, all the battles of the Second World War and everything really the Marine Corps has been involved in since its creation. Um, so obviously with the birthday of the Marine Corps coming up, that being the 10th of November, that's not too far away. That's five days from the day of filming. Um, and I'm really, really excited to share this and to, uh, to react to this. So this is the 248th Marine Corps birthday message posted by the Marines themselves. I'm really, really excited to see what the message is. Uh, I, do they do one every year? I'm assuming they do one every year. Um, yeah. So let's see. Let's see what uh, the Marine Corps has to say, what their message is to us, what the message is to the people and the men, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any uh, new uh, videos. We are still, I am still a small channel, so as it grows, uh, we're obviously more and more on content. There'll be a much more wide variety of content and, and your subscription to this small channel means the absolute world to me. So please subscribe if you enjoy my content. Um, yeah, it is really, really nice to see this, this channel grow. So let's get to this. If you want to see more of my personal opinions as well, you can head over to Patreon. The link is down below in the description. It's just $5 per month. And with our pending move up to, uh, out to the United States early next year, I have a new channel. The link is down below here. It's called Mikey's American Dream. And you can follow our move step by step to the United States. And you can give us advice, comment, get to know us. That is something that we're really, really open to. So I'm really, really open to. Of course, I'm moving my fiance. That's why I keep saying we. But let's get to this video and let's see what the Marine Corps has to say to us, to the people of the United States and to the men and women of the, of the Marine Corps. Yeah, damn right. To this day, young men and women. I love, I love visuals like this. Honestly, it, the, it, it, yeah, it just shows how badass they are. Just to raise their right hand and swear an oath to something greater than themselves. A lot of people don't realize how fast the Marine Corps is. The Marine Corps isn't just grunts on the ground. You know, you've got uh, pilots, uh, sailors, uh, absolutely everything. You've got uh, mechanized vehicles, everything. Engineers. Yeah, firefighters, helicopter pilots, the lot. This is the kind of message you need. If I was in the thigh, I was in the thigh with my boots on. Damn right, wow. Combat is ugly. You see, I don't like this. He's gone. Oh, yeah. he was laying. Cause he was laying right there. He's not there no more. He was laying I shot him like five times. When I came if you think combat is great that you haven't been there mm -hmm. so we were taking fire all day long lieutenant calvin bent over to grab his radio a tracer round came through the left armhole of his flak jacket and out the right armhole and just barely pe penetrated the skin crazy thing is that when he was a young enlisted marine he got a tattoo on his back that said marine and the tracer underlined the word oh. marine that is i mean don't get me wrong no one wants to be fucking shot but damn it's the kind of story that people won't believe yeah unless you show it to them 
I've been shot a few times and blown up and stabbed. I owe my life to Navy Corpsmen. Those are unsung heroes. Mm. When you're in a battle and you're wounded, but you know you can still pull a trigger, the thing that keeps you going is the man to your left and the man to your right. Since its birth, the Marine Corps has sought to find those exceptional individuals who embody the qualities of toughness, grit, honor, courage, and commitment. Qualities required of a professional warfighting force that is not only capable, but willing to do the hard things on behalf of the nation. Victory in every time and place does not happen. Interesting, uh, interesting information about, I don't know if you guys know about the raising of the flag at Iwo Jima by the Marine Corps. Was that, that wasn't the end of the battle. Actually, that was the very beginning, which uh, the, the Marine Corps just made a beachhead, um, managed to get up on some high ground. And the actual, the first flag that was erected was actually far smaller than this. And they waited until someone brought a larger flag to film this shot. And the unfortunate thing is, I believe, uh, I think there's sort of seven men who were participating in the raising of this flag, this amazing uh, symbol of victory, which was actually shot at the beginning of the battle as opposed to the end. Um, I think four, or four out of seven actually uh, perished, actually gave their lives um, on the remaining attack on the island. So. That's a really, really uh, powerful story. By chance, from the unforgiving jungles of the South Pacific to the snow-covered mountains of Korea, Korea yeah. to the, the Battle of Chosen Reservoir is another one that they participated in, and that was brutal beyond uh, imagination. I don't think the Marines have ever been in a battle that has been easy. Um, no battle was easy, but I, don't, I think the Marines have really drawn the short end of the stick in terms of where they're sent. I mean. Many people have expressed the sentiment that they would have preferred to, they would prefer to have fought in the European theater of war as opposed to the, the, the Pacific theater of war in the Second World War. I share that sentiment also, um, and the Marines only fought in the Pacific theater, so that is not something that, yeah, yeah. The streets of Way and Fallujah. Marines have prevailed because they have moral courage, steel backbones, and a ruthless commitment to a tradition of excellence. And with preparation comes confidence. The more prepared you are, the more you rehearse, the more you, you drill, the more confident you get. And so we're ready to go. The Marine standard is the only standard, and discipline is the currency of our core. This is the bedrock of our ethos, and what makes us unique from any other fighting force in the world. Discipline and being lethal, I see it every single day from the fire team to the squad. To I mean, I'm also happy to see the Marines have a upgrading technology on the weaponry because up until not so long ago, they were still using the M16A4 uh, as a standard issue. Um, and now I believe they're using the HK416, is it? Um, which I find a very interesting, they went for a, they went for an import um, rather than going for maybe like a, a higher speed sort of M4 style. I mean, it is M4, so it is, it's still an AR, um, but I'm surprised they didn't go for American made, to be honest with you. It's the same when it goes to, um, same when it comes to, our, I know they do tests, so they, 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 they do, uh, they, they test out each firearm before they choose it. Um, same thing goes with like sidearms of the US military. I know that now uh, standard issue is the, uh, is the SIG, I can't remember the name. Uh, I actually shot it back, uh, back in October. Um, out in the US and I can see why it was chosen because damn that is a soft shooting uh, that is a soft, soft shooting fight, a sidearm but and before we were with Glock but there are still a, a, a amazing uh, sidearms and firearms produced in the United States by American companies and I'm not too sure why um, all tests sort of seem to seem to go with uh, foreign imports but anyway when the Marines are running up recon, running through the load trail, going to the dojo, making themselves more lethal and fit, and that directly correlates to when you go do, you know, Rangers 400 or do a company clip assault, that's only going to continue to bleed on when they go overseas and take care of business. Today, we continue to prepare for the next fight, and while the faces, weapons, and formations are new, the fighting spirit of the individual Marine has never changed. Mm. When the nation calls and the orders given to send in the Marines, every friend and every foe understands that help 
all destruction is on the way. Right now we have more capabilities than uh, we ever had in the past from weapon systems, platforms, and technology to be able to be lighter and faster mm. and more lethal. As Marines, we do not decide when the next fight will come, but we do decide who wins. The Marines who came before have paved the way. They prevailed against all odds in the face of unimaginable hardship, and yet they kept their humanity. They kept their honor clean. The character of war will change. Mm. The battlefield will evolve, and the equipment will modernize. But the warrior ethos of our Corps stands firm. We do not simply say that we're first to fight. Did he have a bipod on his, on his HK? Yeah. So that's the HK. Bipod, I'm assuming that doesn't come to that. I'll know that he has, okay, yeah, he's, designated, he's a designated marksman. You can see from obviously the scope. Okay, cool. I would have assumed the designated marksman would have had something more powerful, maybe a 308. Uh, not necessarily, of course, more powerful, but not for the power reasons. Maybe you want to reach out and touch a little further out. Interesting. Those of our core stands firm. We do not simply say that we're first to fight. We work hard every day to prove it. To our adversaries, I would say if you see that US Marines and you see that MARPAD, I would say- Look, North Korea and Russia are not adversaries. You see that the mess that Russia has made in, in Ukraine, North Korea has, does not have an effective fighting force in terms of technology, in terms of training. Um, and the only advantage they may have is their lack of respect for human life. As you know, which is one of the reasons why the USSR made such great gains um, during, the, during the Second World War, um, because they really had no respect for their own soldiers or civilians' lives. Uh, much to the extent they would throw so many troops at the enemy that it would be impossible to really fight back. Uh, if you look at Stalingrad, the order given was not one single step back. Uh, and that was because it was named after Stalin. It was where he uh, started his journey onto conquering Russia, I suppose. You better stand by. Because if you don't think these Marines are working every single day to better their craft and skills, you got another thing coming. Because these Marines aren't going to stop until the mission is accomplished and you're destroyed. Yep. Oh, we've got an ad here. It's a fitting advert. It's funny when you're a, a Lance Corporal and you got combat action, maybe unit commendation, or any core expedition on your medal. Nowhere. I just went with a Marine Corps sent me. Wow. We are people who are dedicated to the service to others if there's somebody that's in trouble a marine is not going to turn and walk away wow they're going to do whatever is necessary it, to the point of giving their life admiral chester nimitz said about iwo jima uncommon valor was a common virtue the stories I hear at reunions should be on Silver Star citations. And I think that's the interesting and interesting thing. I mean, a lot, the amount of Silver Stars that are given out, the amount, the amount of medals of honor that are given out, I, I would say that the amount of people that display that amount of bravery is far greater than the amount of awards that are given for it, if that makes sense. The issue is, when everyone is doing exceptional, it, 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 when everyone's actions are exceptional, how do you distinguish the exceptional from the even more exceptional? History is very important, and I'm glad. That oh, it's and that's a good problem to have in a fighting force. It's a good problem to have. Still being taught. I'm glad that my fellow Marines that didn't come back are being remembered, mm. are being discussed in squad days to this day. Marines are tough. I think there's something about a young man or young woman who comes into the Marine Corps that they perhaps were born with and didn't even know it. You can do it. You can do it all. Um, you are capable more than you think. And there are so many people in the Marine Corps who want to enable that. You're now fighting for your brothers and sisters. It was common then, and 
from what I can tell what's common now is uh, the camaraderie like, you watch my back I'll watch your back don't want to let people down on either side of you there's no better thing than camaraderie and talking through it and sharing certain pieces with individuals because it creates a bond that is unbreakable everybody wants to be a champion everybody really wants to be part of the best means you are the strength of our core and your actions determine the fate of millions of future warriors and their ability to stand on your shoulders i know that you're ready as we come together to celebrate our 248th birthday i encourage every marine to reflect on our history and think about the moment when you ask yourself do i have what it takes you are on the journey that few have dared to be. take pride in what you represent you are the pinnacle of professional warriors and the model for others to follow. So our Major Elise and I are proud to stand among you and we'll be with you every step of the way. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Marines, and Semper Fidelis. I have a question about the uniforms, actually. Um, obviously, these are the dress uniforms. Uh, not so much about the medals, actually, but I'm, I, I want to ask why the Sergeant Ruiz's uh, uniform had the red trim and the other gentleman's does not. Does anyone know? We're Marines till we die. Mm. And we require a two week notice for that. <laughs> I love that. And I've heard, you know, there's no such thing as an ex-Marine. Um, Marines are simply Marines. And I think that's incredible. That was a really, really good video. Um, it really shows the strength and the, fort the mental fortitude of the Marine Corps and its morality and really what it stands for. I think a message like this is so important to put out, especially on the Marine Corps birthday. I think more people need to see this. I remember seeing an interview with Tim Kennedy who said that the US military is really struggling with recruitment now more than anything because of course of mass physical unfitness uh, etc etc um, and a lot of people not wanting to to join uh, forces like the Marine Corps or, or, or even the military in general um, but of course those who do of course do a fantastic job so that was really really good I hope I hope this is viewed massively uh, it's really important to see the sacrifice and the importance of the Marine Corps and really what it stands for um, and how it's really spearheaded the fight against tyranny and injustice all over the world, uh, in every continent, since its, since its inception. Um, absolutely amazing, guys. If you want to see more like this, I mean, no one recommended this to me. This just came up on my, uh, on my feed. If you want to see more like this, let me know down in the comments. If maybe I can react to last year's, you know, 247th, uh, it'd be really good to have an interesting difference in perspective or difference in... Uh, what uh, these look like from year on year out so yeah that was really really cool the marine corps is awesome and i love their slogan semper fidelis always faithful it really it really shows what what the marine corps is all about so guys have a great rest of your day don't forget like and subscribe every subscription obviously helps the channel massively and i can't thank you enough and like the video let me down in the comments below what you think of this video or what you'd like to see me react to if you want to see me react to anything more uh, from a military standpoint or from specifically the marines or where did you serve? Uh, in which branch did you serve? Can I react to something from your branch? So yeah, head over to Patreon as well to see more of my thoughts, my in-depth thoughts on what's happening currently, politically, economically, um, in, uh, in terms of the United States and the world. Uh, link is just down below in the description, it's just five dollars per month. And head over to my new channel to see all about mine and Tasha's move, that's my fiance, to the United States. Have a great day guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Absolutely, uh, this was an absolutely amazing video.